parents are failing their children and don't even know it. Our children are much more unruly and anxious than ever. Why? Do you know your parenting style? Who is the lead in your home? It is time to see parenting through a new lens. Beyond Time Out is a new book by Dr. Beth A. Grosshans that reveals how unruly kids can be effectively calmed and discusses the flaws in thinking that have gotten us to where we are as harried parents in the first place. You mentioned power dynamics, and I know that the imbalance of family power is a central concept in your book. For the majority of families across the country, it's the children who prevail. It's the children who have the lion's share of the leadership power. I had recently worked with a family who said that their eight-year-old son fell asleep on the family room couch every night. And when I asked them why, they said, well, he won't let us put him to bed. I had another family say that they hadn't had a good night's sleep in over a year and a half. And I said, why? And they said, because I have to sleep with my daughter every night. She won't let us leave the room. So when you have parents saying, makes us, won't let us, it's pretty obvious who has the power, and I can assure you that there was no question in the child's mind who had the power. You make the bold assertion that while children are the product of the faulty logic and bad parenting advice offered over the last half century. Can you elaborate? In my opinion, the parenting advice of the last 40 years is largely responsible for many of the behavioral and emotional problems that are confronting parents today. Parents have become very intimidated about disciplining that they're going to somehow damage their children if they cause them distress by saying no. What effect would you say an unruly child can have on a family beyond childhood? This is not something that kids grow out of. As a matter of fact, it seems that kids grow into it and it gets worse and worse as they go on. As much as younger children are unruly and can be out of control with power, teenagers are just that much more unruly and out of control with power and the stakes get so much higher, and it can be dangerous. You discuss different parenting styles in your book and how they contribute to IFP. Beyond Time Out offers parents a very effective strategy to deal with the unruliness and the anxieties of their children. But Beyond Time Out also asks parents to look at themselves. Oftentimes, when parents read the parenting styles, they're shocked to find out that the ways they've been speaking to their child, the discipline practices that they've been relying on are actually digging their hole deeper. In your book you refer to the ladder program. Can you give us a general overview of that concept? Each rung of the ladder represents an increased response to a child who is continuing to be uncooperative. Parents only have to climb as high as they need to go until their child cooperates. Parents will never be questioning, what should I do, what should I say? It's all laid out with a lot of detail. I give parents a script to follow. All of this unruliness, all of the tantrums, the demandingness, the whininess, the negotiations that children go through makes kids feel terrible about themselves. Too many times I've had kids come into my office and when we talk about their troubles at home and the way they're behaving, with tears in their eyes, they'll say to me, I feel bad about the way I act. I know I shouldn't be this way. It's not a good way to be, but I don't know how to stop. It's my hope that after reading Beyond Time Out, parents will know how to help their kids, to relieve them of the burdens and the stresses of too much power, and to help them to earn the self-esteem that will carry them through. It is time to go beyond time out. Our children need us, and they need us in the lead, reliably, respectfully, and effectively. This is Parenting in the Sweet Spot. Dr. Grosshans will help you get there.